And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today I have special guest Z Garcia with me. What's happening? And I do not know where somewhere along the line the game designers thought sheep was a necessary component to game design. I think there are more sheep in board games than every other animal combined. More sheep than zombies pretty soon. <laughs> No, and that then, may already be and the then case. After that, <laughs> zombie sheep. Zombie sheep. <laughs> I'm waiting for that one. All right, Battle Sheep is from Blue Orange Games, and Blue Orange Games are known for high component quality mm -hmm. and simplistic games. Yes. Now you said this is a reprint of an older game. That's right, and I forget what the original one is called, but I believe it's out uh, in France, if I'm not mistaken, by Jacques Delea, or Jacques Delea. I'm not sure how to pronounce that company's name. And that printing of the game was a completely abstract game. No theme whatsoever. And then Blue Orange added this Battleship theme to it, which is fine. I think works just well. But, but as he said, it's a very abstract game. Let's take a look. We'll be back. Players are each given four of these tiles that have four pastures on them, and you're going to place them together, taking turns one at a time to build a pasture. Each player is going to take all the stack of their sheep, and they're going to place it here. Um, so you have 16 of your sheep in one big pile, and on your turn, you're going to take as many of your sheep as you want from your stack and move them in a straight line. So for example, these black sheep here can go down over to here or they can move all the way down here, or they can move here next to the blue sheep. So let's say I do this one next to the blue sheep. Now the blue sheep here, he can move fewer if he wanted. He could send a whole stack over here next to the red. And then the white sheep might send everything but one over here. You have to leave at least one sheep behind, but uh, you can leave, you can only move a few. Let's say the red one just moves a few this way. See the blue player severely limited the red, so he actually wouldn't leave too many behind there because if another sheep lands there, that whole stack would be trapped. So let's say it's the black player's turn again, so he moves a stack here. You can, once you start the game, you'll have more options. Blue moves here, and well, white moves a stack here, red moves a stack here, black moves one over here, blue moves a pile down here, white moves half their stack down here, Red moves a stack here. Uh, let's see, black then, I'm forgetting what color goes next. Red goes next. All right, so you just go, but see, here look for here, for example, let's say white moved here. At this point, they've effectively trapped the red stack. On the red's next turn, they can move half of them here, but they're never gonna be able to move those stacks again. And when you cannot move on your turn any longer, you're out of the game. So. After you, everyone cannot move anymore, because it will happen, and you might get be able to get a whole section of the board off and be able to bounce around and drop one off each time. Uh, but after everyone has moved, you simply count the number of spaces your sheep are in, and whoever has the most spaces is the winner. And we're back. All right. This is, like I said, it's an abstract strategy game. Mm -hmm. Components. Holy cow. Great. They are... Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Those I mean, plastic. The plastic bids are great. They have a good heft to them. They they feel great. They're easy to stack, easy to move. And they all have the same picture, which they is are, a little. Right, it's cutesy. This is excellent. This is a this is a great job. And then the tiles themselves are very good quality. You know, this is this is high quality stuff. It's very thick, good materials. I'm I'm really happy with that. The first time I played this, I said, "Well, what's the point of even having these tiles? Why not just put a game board out there and play on it?" Mm -hmm. But you can make holes, and it does keep each game from being samey. <clears throat> and it also lets you uh, decide how big the board is for different number of players. Right. Yeah. I don't think it's as important to rule. Say, I put a piece out, you put a piece out. I'm thinking more just build the board and see what happens. Sure. It doesn't need to be that formal. Now, the game itself, it's tight. 
<laughs> it's this is not a friendly game. I don't think we can say at all. No, the definitely this is like several other games, which might be even similar. It has that cutesy look, and then you get in there and you are cutting each other off, and you are it's nasty right away. I think it's more offensive than. Uh, I think you need to be more trying to think during the game, how am I going to cut the other players off, than trying to expand yourself. Sure, or you can cut a piece of the land off for yourself. That's a valid tactic, I think. Right. Now, when you've seen the rules and you've seen this, I think a lot of people will compare this to the very, very popular game, Hey, That's My Fish. Absolutely. Which is out like in three different editions. Mm -hmm. um, and that game has penguins moving around, and that one the board crumbles apart, and you're trying to control areas and get fish. This one, the board is virtually disappearing as you take up different spots but it has a different feel that's because you are taking the biggest difference in this game is you're deciding how much of a stack to move with you right so you have to decide how much you leave how much you take which is is a, is a great concept because you are wrestling with yourself and when you mess up it feels like you messed up not someone just hurt you yes that's part of it but you left too many chips there now they got cut off and you can't use them so I love that. I love that you are actively hurting yourself in this game if you miscalculate. And again, this is, you, you, can, you can get to that spot where you have the big stack and then someone cuts you off and that's it. Yeah. And you know you've lost right that's then. That's it, yeah. And that could be problematic except for the game is 15 minutes max. Can't it says 15 lie. minutes. We're talking 10. 10. Yeah. And that's with four players. Yeah. I mean, a two-player game is even faster than that. Oh, it's boom, 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 back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, I wonder if this game might miss some of the mark because some people will see it and pass on because it looks like a kid's game. Right, well, yeah, the cover and the pictures on the back of the box, which look very abstract. By the way, you can learn the game from the back of the box, Pretty which is always a good yes, sign. Yes, I, I'm afraid that this won't match this, but... If you like abstracts and you like the idea of a quick, you know, go for the throat kind of game, which I know this does not look like that, I highly recommend I think it's a great game. Right. And if you like Hey, That's My Fish, I can almost guarantee you'll like this. Absolutely. Uh, although there might be some argument, do you need both? Right, right. I'm currently leaning similar. towards this one, if only because I like the better component quality. And I also like the stack thing. I... They're really close for me. I might lean towards this one only because setup is so much faster. In That's true. You don't have to put a fish in every space. That might be it. <laughs> and they are both that good. So if you like Hey, That's My Fish, absolutely. And this sets up faster. And if you've never heard of Hey, That's My Fish, still a great game. Works well with all numbers of players. I like Battleship. I like it too. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Freedom! Oi, shut the door! Yeah. Boom.